Hello everyone, my name is Ray Gano. I'm the Executive Director of Prophezine, and you're watching Prophezines This Week in Bible Prophecy, June 8th, 2008. In the case of, a, of the pot calling the kettle black, Iran complains to UN Security Council about Israel's threat. In a letter released Saturday by Iranian UN Ambassador Mohammad Kazi said that Israel poses the most immediate and serious threat that the world and the region are facing. Huh. I guess President Ahmadinejad has not heard the old saying, those who live in glass houses should not throw rocks. Further news. It appears that Obama and Hillary has disappeared. Could they have gone to the secret Bilderberg meeting that took place this weekend? Senator Barack Obama has ditched his unsuspecting press entourage yesterday to attend a secretive meeting with Senator Hillary Clinton. Did they plan to attend the secretive Bilderberg meeting that is taking place right now in Chantilly, Virginia? So far, neither campaign is talking. The 56th annual Bilderberg meeting is still going on this weekend at the Westfield Marriott, according to various sources, including WorldNet Daily. But attendance is well guarded secret along with the agenda, which tend to lean towards the promotional of globalist ideas. Reporting for Prophecies this week in Bible Prophecy, I'm Mike Mickey of RaptureAlert.com. Less than halfway through 2008, the National Weather Service is reporting this is already the deadliest tornado season since 1998 and we are well on our way to breaking the U.S. record for the number of twisters in a year. Not only is that true, this year's storms have been unusually powerful with the strongest category of storms, those in the 136 to 200 mile per hour range being more prevalent and seemingly hitting populated areas more often. Greg Carbon of the National Weather Service's Storm Prediction Center is saying we're on track to break all counts by year's end. All counts where these storms are concerned. Every record concerning tornado activity set to fall here in 2008. A sign of the times we're living in, in my in opinion. 21-25, it is made clear that natural disasters are going to play a large role in the end time scenario foretold in Bible prophecy. As I told you in last week's episode, natural disasters have quadrupled in the last two decades alone. There doesn't appear to be any let up in sight. Reporting for Prophecies This Week in Bible Prophecy, I'm Mike Mickey. God bless you. Gay dads celebrate Father's Day with Rick Warren at Saddleback Church. In a continued effort to bring unity to mankind, Rick Warren is allowing a group of homosexuals to come dialogue with him and will welcome him them to his church. Soul Force, a group of homosexuals, are conducting a six-week gay-friendly family journey to initiate dialogue with megachurch congregations across the nation. Folks, Rick Warren is no friend of the gospel. He is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Over and over again, he rejects the solid teachings of Scripture. Scripture says... Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house, lest thou be a cursed thing like it. But thou shalt utterly detest it, and thou shalt utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. Are the Marines practicing for martial law? Under the guise of urban warfare training, the 26th Expeditionary Unit, an elite group of Marines, will conduct a martial law training exercise at 26 surrendered locations in central Indiana from June 4th to June 17th. While state's officials are doing their best to assure the public that the military takeover of civilian property is somehow a good thing, the military is basically ignoring the Posse Comitatus Act, which fundamentally prohibits these types of exercises. These two weeks of training are also in contradiction of military tradition against deployment among the civilian population, dating back all the way to the Civil War era. My question is, with all this being the case, why are the citizens of Indianapolis and six other Indiana towns being made to take part in a two-week of patrols and ambushes? Are we seeing the precursor of an Antichrist regime? 
I leave that to you. Here at Prophecy, and we're working very hard to show that Bible prophecy is, in fact, coming to pass. Bible prophecy is the signature of God. And if Bible prophecy is coming to pass, it means that the Word of God is true. So, folks, where are you going to spend eternity? Romans 3.23 says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 6.23 states, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Finally, 1 John 1.19 does say, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Folks, if you do not know the Lord as your personal Savior, don't wait. No one is guaranteed to tomorrow confess your sins and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ today. My name is Ray Gano from all of us here at Prophesying. Thank you so much for downloading this video. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye and Maranatha.